In this module, I'll show you how to compute asset turnover for Sherwin-Williams and then dig in the annual report to find reasons for the changes to the ratio. This is the return on equity component summary for Sherwin-Williams. In the previous module, we computed and interpreted the profit margin ratio. In this module, we will look at the asset turnover ratio. We can see that the asset turnover has increased from 1.53 in 2012 to 1.6 in 2013. The asset turnover ratio equals sales divided by assets. First we look to the income statement to find sales. Sales is on the first line and is $10,185,532,000 for 2013. Then we plug the sales figure into the top part of the fraction for the three years. Next we turn to the balance sheet to find the figure for total assets. Total assets is the last line on the asset side of the balance sheet. It is $6,382,507,000 for 2013. We plug that figure in the bottom part of the fraction and divide the two numbers to compute the asset turnover for the three years. Now we need to compare the figures to figure out what caused the fraction to go up from 1.53 in 2012 to 1.6 in 2013. The overall fraction will go up if the top part of the fraction goes up faster than the bottom part. We can see the sales did go up by about 600 million from 2012 to 2013. We can see that assets went up by only 140 million from 2012 to 2013. Let's see what caused these changes. In the previous module, we examined why sales increased. To reiterate, we see that sales increased from 2012 to 2013. This is mostly attributable to the Paint Stores Group, whose sales increased from 2012 to 2013. Therefore, it was the Paint Stores Group that caused sales to increase by the 600 million. Next, let's see what caused the assets to increase. Total current assets really didn't increase by much, only by about 9 million from 2012 to 2013. However, the property, plant, and equipment did increase by 60 million, and that accounts for the most significant reason that assets increased. Let's find out why plant and equipment increased. To find reasons for the increase, we will look in the annual report. On pages 25 to 26, we find the reason for the increase in plant equipment. The paint stores group opened up new paint stores and improved existing stores. Therefore, the company spent money to open new paint stores and to improve existing ones. In summary, the asset turnover increased in 2013 from 2012 because the paint store group's sales increased more than the group's assets increased due to opening new stores and improving existing stores. Well, we've looked at the asset turnover and explained the increase for Sherwin-Williams. Next, we'll examine the financial leverage ratio for the company. 